Hello Doctor 777 in today's video I have a nifty application for you guys called Glasswire. Glasswire is a user friendly network security and firewall tool application. So what it pretty much does is it runs in the background of your computer and simply monitors what's using your internet connection. It gives you the address that the IP is coming from, what application it is, and a lot of really cool things, even alerts. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and download it and try it out and show you guys what exactly it does. So if you click download, you'll get a nice little setup file like this one right here. And you can simply go ahead and fire it up. There's no ad, so you can simply go through. Now, by default, it will be set off to run on startup, but you'll want that enabled because if you don't have that enabled, then it won't actually track stuff. So if you have it checked off, then it will track stuff, um, but it does not open up when you run at startup. It simply runs um, in your taskbar. Once it's done, you can go ahead and run the application. It will connect to everything it needs to connect to. And there you go. You'll start getting a nice graph um, with, you can see up here, I'm not currently on the internet, so um, it's not going any type of high speeds, but we do see some things are being used. And if I ever do alerts, I'll see some different things. So um, the first time you fire up this application, it's going to have a little more alerts than normal. So the first time a application connects to the internet, it will alert you. So if you, uh, so for example, here I have a couple different things. I have PulseWave um, service, which is basically an application I use to manage my computer for my phone. I have a Google Chrome application, obviously, and an Explorer, um, NVIDIA streamer service. So all these things that come up the first time um, will get a alert um, notification. And you can see here we'll have different graphs going up and down, um, but they're not going that high actually because two kilobytes is the max right now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fire up uh, Chrome here, and we're going to go to a little more demanding website. So we're going to go to YouTube, for example, here. And we'll go ahead and we'll watch a Linus Tech Tips video, which is a great channel, by the way. So if I let it play in the background here, you're going to notice immediately that the bar graph has increased, but now the max limit here is 700 kilobytes a second. I think that's what it needs to run to make the YouTube video smooth. So as you can tell now, if we go back in time, um, that area before is now much smaller compared to what we're currently doing. Now, if you go ahead and download a torrent, this effect will take even bigger effect because now um, the top bar will be like maybe a couple megabytes a second and the 700 kilobytes will be small. Now, if I exit that uh, video, you're going to notice a, pretty much immediately a drop in network usage. So you can tell it's pretty much dropped straight out. Now, the cool effect is when you have this over a long period of time. Now, I've only shown you guys in the past five minutes. But you can click up to weeks of information and you can really see you know how much each day are using now if you tap the app section we can see what apps are using the most so obviously google chrome is used the most for me because my main browser uh, we see all apps and we also have the other apps in our system under firewall we'll have this is a little more specific so it'll tell us um what the ip address is and the host of you know which one's connecting to. So and if you have the usage tab, it's gonna give you your your pretty much your monthly um, usage. So this is really good. If you have a laptop that runs off of a um, Verizon USB data stick, and this is a good way to actually monitor how much you're using so you don't go over your data limit. Now, if you're at a home desktop computer like I am, then this isn't really a big deal, um, but it is something I, I wouldn't mind actually knowing just for the sake of knowing. Um, and for bragging rights as well, but it's just something that could be useful on a laptop. Um, like I said, on desktop though, maybe not as much. Otherwise, though, if we go to apps, you can do the same thing as before. We can see what each app has been using, and of course, Google Chrome is the highest one. And we can even see per source or uh, host, so we can see what actual host is giving the most of our um, megabytes as well. So the top one here is actually YouTube. Um, that's a Google video, so that's actually YouTube. So we're going to see that YouTube is obviously giving us the most amount of um, traffic. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. So if you head over to the options, um, you can do the skins. So we can do some different little skins. And this is mostly going to affect the bar graph itself. You can snooze so that it will not um, keep track. Or you can put incognito mode on. 
and that'll basically stop monitoring until you turn it off. And if we go to settings itself, we have a couple different idle modes, run at startup, try notification icons, uh, graph theme, and then the connection to their server, and then security options. Um, so you can unlock those for some more um, advanced things. So some things over here is some ARP spoofing detection, proxy settings monitor. So if your proxy settings are changed, it will actually monitor you. So the, uh, like I said before, this isn't an antivirus application, but it does have some antivirus-like features that will notify you when things are changed, like um, your DNS servers or your proxy settings, which are some good things to be changed because some kind of applications will change those, uh, especially malware, will change those um, unauthorized. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, leave your opinion below on what you think of this application and if you think it's useful. Me personally, I think it's pretty useful because of the extra security features and some cool graphs and you can see what's been what's using your internet connection. That was good, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 007 and I'm signing off.